Hi, I'm Julie Martin of Brahmana Yoga and I also teach on EckhartYoga.com. I'm pretty well known throughout the yoga community for mixing things up a bit, thinking outside the box, getting off the mat. And I do this for a good reason. I'm interested in blending functional movement, natural movement into the yoga practice so that it's something that gives us more longevity and it also gives us more overall strength, hopefully reducing any injuries down to zero. One of the things I'm going to show you today, just to give you an idea, is a little game called the gorilla. Right? So this is working with um, a functional movement practice and from a squat, and you can come and play with me if you want to, just take a nice wide squat. I don't have to ever have both heels down on the floor, but it's a shifting of weight. I'm pushing through the feet, I'm activating through the thighs, and I'm getting the pelvis to start finding that support, and it's coming from the feet. So I'm stimulating movement through the sole of the foot and the ankle, and all of that is really important. This is helping my pelvis understand where the strength is coming from. So if I start to use that and lift my hips a little bit so I get this nice bounce going on, what happens then is then I have the ability to move, to shift weight completely, right? So I'm going to take this into a nice gorilla move like you might see on a you know, National Geographic documentary and push the hips over to the side. And it's coming from the feet. My arms are reaching, the weight passes through the hands, but my feet are really taking the, um, the, the weight of the pelvis. My feet are informing the pelvis where that's coming from. So, of course this is great fun, but you might be thinking, how can this ever be part of my yoga practice? Well, of course, if I'm working with the power of the squat, I'm already right here. I can move into something like my bakasana, into an arm balance. I can use the power of moving into the squat to propel me into a movement that takes me down to the floor and then I can end up in a merits yes in a C. Add that twist, come out of that, stretch the leg back, go back to a deep squat, maybe a horse stance. So you can see we can put it into the practice, make uh, it more powerful but also light and playful. If you want to learn more about how I work, um, check out EckhartYoga.com. I've got loads of classes there. Also, if you want to see me in real life, check out my workshops on BurmaniYoga.com.